that the tribulation starts when the peace treaty is signed. So the Ezekiel 38, 39 war can happen before the rapture of the church. Like any time right now, as we're going to our socialist agenda, we are not going to be protecting Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu and all those leaders in Israel, were they were praying at the Wailing Wall waiting for the elections because they knew that if the socialists get in there, that Israel is not protected. They know this. So Israel is not going to be protected. All the nations... Gog and Magog, um, they're going to come up. Listen, Russia and all these nations, they're going to come up against Israel, but they're not going to win. God is going to do a supernatural act in the Ezekiel 38-39 war to, to subdue the enemies of God, to subdue the enemies of Israel. So we know that this is going to happen either right before the rapture or right after the rapture. We don't know the timing on it, but we know it's going to happen. Then the Antichrist is going to come on the scene when the restrainer is lifted. Satan cannot enter into a man since Jesus rose from the dead and released the Holy Spirit on the earth. The Holy Spirit was not given until Jesus rose from the dead. The Holy Spirit would move upon men from the Old Testament into the New Testament before Jesus rose from the dead. He would come upon man and then he would leave. That's what would happen until Jesus came and rose from the dead. Now we have the restraining power of God. Holy Spirit, we get saved, comes inside of us. He lives inside of us. God says the restrainer is going to be removed in 2 Thessalonians. Then the son of perdition, who is the Antichrist, is going to be revealed. Satan is going to enter into a man who is the Antichrist. He's going to enter into the body of a man. He can't go inside of a man right now. Demons can. But Satan himself cannot go into a man right now. He's restrained by the Holy Spirit right now. The Bible says that, that Satan walks around the earth to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. He's like a roaring lion. He's walking about the earth. So we know that he is in the atmosphere of the earth. So we know that Paul said, I know a man in the body or out of the body. I cannot tell, but he went to the third heaven. So we know that the third heaven, which is above the galaxies of galaxies, his throne room is above all the heavens, above all the earth, above the galaxy. Heaven is in a whole different world. It's far above everything. And we know the atmosphere of the earth realm, which is where Daniel, when he was praying, that uh, Gabriel, the angel of God and Michael, the archangel, were fighting in that realm, okay? They were fighting in the spirit realm against the prince of Greece and the prince of Persia, which are territorial spirits, okay? So we know that Satan is still restrained by God in the spirit realm. He was restrained by the restrainer. We know that the demons and territorial spirits do exist and they do, they're over regions, they're over Persia, they're over Iran, they're over America, they're over your city, they're over your family, they're over nations. The Bible clearly explains that the demons, the principalities in Daniel. So Paul clearly explains that he went to the third heaven. He, he had an open vision. He had a vision. He was taken to the third heaven. He had a vision that he was not permitted to tell, okay? So we don't know what he saw, but he said he saw things he, he cannot share. He can't tell them. It's, he couldn't share. So anything added with all you people that get these visions that you're in heaven, that's extra biblical revelation that, we, that is outside of the bounds of scripture, that is demonic, okay? Demons can give you extra biblical revelations for all you false prophets and false teachers and all of you following them, you cannot have extra biblical revelation. God didn't put it in his word for a reason. I don't mean to get off on that. God did this from the beginning to the end is the word of God. Nothing added, nothing taken away, or else the curse, curses that are, the plagues that are added in the book of Revelation will be given into you. So any extra biblical revelation that you have is from demons. Demons. God has made it clear in his word for all of you apostate Christians out there. So many of you are apostate Christians. So, Satan is going to be able to enter into a man's body, which is the Antichrist. And when he enters in, he's going to declare himself to be as God. 
then he's going to cause the both great and small, the Bible says, to receive a mark in their right hand or forehead. We are not in the tribulation right now. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to be taken out. The restrainer, God's going to take those. That, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit resides in us. He's going to take us, and we're going to be accused of being abducted by aliens. Okay? They're going to say aliens took us away. That's what, Listen. In the stimulus package, part of their stimulus bill was to release what Pentagon has been keeping top secret about alien encounters with the military. That was part of the stimulus that was released. That they have to release to the public the encounters with alien beings. When we get raptured out of here, they're going to say aliens took us because we're cray cray. We're crazy. Okay? That's what they're, they're going to say. How do people just disappear? How, how are people just going to disappear? They're going to think we got taken by aliens. Aliens are demons. Demons give visions. Aliens are demons. That's what demons do. They give counterfeit visions. They give visions in the skies. They give visions in your mind, in your dreams, that you've been abducted, that you saw spacecraft in the air. Listen, the Antichrist is going to cause fire to come down from heaven. Fire! He's going to do wicked signs and wonders. He's going to deceive the whole earth. Please share this video. He's going to deceive the entire inhabitants of the earth, the Bible says in Revelation, by the signs and wonders that he performs. So when the rapture happens, they're going to say we were abducted by aliens. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So, we are not in the tribulation for all of you deceived people. we are I don't know who you're listening to. Read your Bible. We are not in the tribulation yet. The bowls and the the wrath of God has not been released yet, but it's coming. We're not going backwards. So we are still here until the rapture happens. We got to get ready for the rapture. That's all we're getting ready for is eternity right now. Not about the parties, not about who's going to win because we're not winning. Listen, you guys, we're at the end. It's not going to get better. Economy is not going to get better. The COVID is not going away. Uh... We're not going to be prosperous for all of you word of faith preachers and people that follow them. We're not going to be prospering, naming it and claiming it. It's not, it's going to get bad. Jesus said these are the beginning of sorrows, but the end is not yet. What did he say? What are the beginning of sorrows? Nation will rise against nation. That's ethnic, racism. Ethnic in Greek, racism. Nation will rise against kingdom. Or nation will rise against nation. Black, white, yellow, Hispanic, uh, fighting races, race wars. Kingdom against kingdom. I mean, listen, countries, we're hearing wars and rumors of wars. We're going to see earthquakes in various places. There's an increase. We're going to see famines and pestilences. It's COVID and all the mutations that are here now, which is 70% more contagious than the last COVID that just came out because in a person's body, that's how COVID is mutating and then spreads. Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You'll hear of earthquakes, famines, pestilence in various places. You'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. Don't be troubled. The end is not yet. Listen, there'll be false Christs, false prophets appearing to show great signs and wonders, even poss if possible to deceive the very elect of God. You have got to be on your guard against this conspiracy theories, the things that you're hearing from people. You're not reading your word. Read Matthew 24. Read the book of Revelation. Read Daniel. Read Jeremiah. Listen, the Antichrist is going to have powers to subdue the people of God for a time and a season. For all of you people, listen, <laughs> the Bible says that in Daniel. We got to read the Bible. The economy is going to collapse. There is no way to stop it unless the government pays us, which they're going to do. They have to. There is, God is brilliant. He set this all up before the foundations of the world. He said, 
my word is going to come to pass. In fact, he says in Revelation, he's going to put it in the hearts of those kings, the hearts of wicked men to make a covenant, to make a pact with the beast. He, he even puts his will into the hearts of wicked men to fulfill his word. How brilliant is God? This is going to get so bad here. And listen, I don't want to discourage you. I want to encourage you. Encourage you not to be deceived by the naysayers. To be, not to be deceived by the name and claim it. Not to be deceived by the signs and wonders movement. Not to de be deceived by evil people and those counterfeit Christians in the churches. That God says is going to be so much counterfeit, so much deception. The end times is marked by great deception. That's why I wrote my books to help you guys, okay? But I'm going to leave this and I'm going to end it with this. An encouragement. You and I were handpicked by the Most High God to be alive for such a time as this. How do you know that you were not chosen for such a time as this to declare the wonderful, most brilliant works of God to tell people about Jesus, to tell people that they're headed to a lake of fire with the devil and his angels unless they repent and get right before God. What an exciting time to see the Bible come to life, to be chosen by God. God knew that you, he could equip you and that you were strong enough to handle this. That while men's hearts are going to fail them for fear during the tribulation, that means their, their hearts are going to stop. There is going to be so much judgment coming to the sinners on the earth. God has had enough. So much judgment that men's hearts are going to stop. They're going to die of heart attacks. They're going to be just dead. They're going to just die in their tracks. There's even going to become a judgment that they're going to be stricken by locusts. That they're going to have such such a, a boil or whatever, something in their body that they're going to wish they were dead, but they can't even die. They won't be able to die during the tribulation for a time and a season. Listen, there's going to be an hour where there's silence in heaven, one hour of silence. I can't even imagine what that's going to be like. We have no idea the incredible wrath of God that's going to be poured out to the inhabitants of the earth. One-fourth of the human population is going to be dead. I think it's one-fourth or one-third, but a third or a fourth of it is going to be dead. Okay, listen, the earth is going to be destroyed. There's going to be a new heavens and a new earth eventually, okay? There's going to be a thousand years, millennium. New Jerusalem is going to come down during the thousand years, whoever's alive after the tribulation. Because the Bible said... Unless he had shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, he shortened those days. Thanks, Emilio, a third. A third of mankind is going to be dead. Ezekiel talks about a, nu a nuclear war. He talks about nuclear attack. While men are standing, their eyes and their eye sockets are going to melt. Their flesh is going to melt on their body. This is going to be unprecedented what's coming for all of, all of you people that voted for Iran, the nuclear deals to be reestablished. The, the very things that the United States has supported is going to be our demise. It's coming, you guys, and we can't stop it. God said, I had enough. Prophecy is in motion. Prophecy is in motion. Prophecy is in motion, and we can't stop it. The only thing that we can do right now is to get ready and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, to get as many saved as we can, to preach the truth. That once saved, always saved, ain't going to cook it. You're out there sleeping around, Jesus is coming. The trumpet is getting ready to sound. The trumpet of God is getting ready to sound. And you're going to get left behind. All you guys that are living with someone, I'm a Christian. I read the Bible, but we live together. God understands because we're really married, even though we're not legally by law. You're going to get left behind. All you guys that are looking at porn every three to four days, whatever, you're looking, you're looking. Oh, God understands. He knows my needs. Nobody's perfect. You're going to get left behind when the trumpet sounds. Share this video. People are not preaching this message. Share this video.
God has chosen me from India with my makeup and my hair all done. And I'm into, I'm into, I was a makeup artist for Christian Dior. I was a model, a professional model in New York. And I'm sitting here, I'm going to tell you the truth because the pastors are spineless. Not all. 90% of pastors behind the pulpits are not going to tell you the truth that y'all going to hell. It's not something to play with. Sitting there getting drunk at home, shooting up. Cheating on your wife? Cheating on your husband? You're going to hell. God shall not be mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, he's going to reap. You cannot go to heaven with sin in your life. He's coming for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. He says, cleanse yourself of all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. After what Jesus did for you on the cross, and you're sitting there mocking him. You're sitting there, and you think, God understands. Nobody's perfect. We're going to heaven. I'm going to the rapture. I'm not going to get eaten up. I'm not going to get burned alive by a nuclear weapon. I, Jesus, he'll take me. I'm going to heaven. No, you're not. No, you are not. Serving other gods, practicing witchcraft and yoga, reading your horoscope. These are an abomination before God, all you Christians. This, the Bible is for you. It's not for unbelievers. It's for you to warn you. In Galatians, those that practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. And Paul says, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Those that practice getting drunk, shooting up, having sex outside of marriage, adultery, looking at porn, lying, cheating, anger, serving other false gods, practicing witchcraft, doing your seances, looking at the Ouija board, going to haunted houses, practicing Halloween. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You ain't ignorant. Don't play ignorant with me. Going to yoga, going to yoga and doing the Reiki and mantras, that's witchcraft. You're not going to heaven. God says you're not going. God says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You're not going to heaven. When that rapture, the rapture is going to happen. It's getting ready. The trumpet is getting ready to sound. Watchmen, wake up the church, you watchmen. Sound the alarm. Blow a trumpet in Zion. The Lord is coming. And we are getting ready. We are going to lose our rights. We're going to not be able to preach anymore. They're going to shut us down from social media. They're going to open the borders. We're going to have all kinds of attacks here in the United States. We're going to have enemies from within and from without. We got ships on the oceans for a reason, y'all. The ships are on the, the warships. Come on now. Come on. Wake up, you dead person. You Christian that's dead, you're dead. You have religion, but no relationship with God. You can't even see the things of God. He said, the disciples said, Jesus, what is the sign of your coming and the end of the age? He said, take heed that no man deceive you. He also called them hypocrites. He said, you hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but you can't discern the signs of the times. You know when the sky is red, you know what it means. You know this stuff, but you, you hypocrites. He called them hypocrites because they were living half in the world and half in the church. They were practicing things of the world. So by default, you are serving the devil. You cannot, you got to have the fear of God. Jesus is coming. We're at the end. This is it. Please share this video. People need to see the truth. Share this video. And all you mockers that are mocking me, I don't care. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what pastors think about me. I don't care what, I'm not a people pleaser. I'm a man or, or I'm a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. I don't care. I want to save your life. I want to save your life. I want you to go to heaven with me. I want you to go to heaven with me. All you Harry Potter fans, I want you to repent and go to heaven with me because we're at the end. We're getting into socialism. We're going to be taken over. China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, they're waiting for us. 
They are waiting for us. We are a weakened nation. We have turned our back against God. The Almighty is come from his throne room watching us. He's had enough. I'm telling you, he's had enough. Judgment is coming to America. Repent and get right with God. All of you haters of God that say you love him, but your heart is far from him. The enemy is within our country and outside of our country, and we're getting ready for an incredible time of socialism, an incredible time of destruction, incredible time of lawlessness.